Hey guys, what's going on? In this free Artwist tutorial series, I will show you how to create and render this animation, this walkthrough, and these still shots inside Unreal Engine 5. In this part, I'm going to go over ways of exporting your files and importing them into Unreal Engine using FBX and Data Smith formats. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it and show you how I've done it. Okay, now we're going to go over exporting our files from 3ds Max and importing them into Unreal Engine. And for that, I'm going to use FBX format for my structure and Data Smith for my assets and furniture. So first of all, let's hide the furniture layer. And now all we have is the structure. We can select all of it and then go to File, Export, Export Selected, then go to where you want to export it and give it a name and press Save. But there is another script for exporting FBX files from, from 3ds Max for Unreal Engine and that is you if for fbx exporter and to export my structure i will deselect all of these options and choose where i want to save my fbx file and pressing export selected options okay now it's time to export the furniture and for that and you're gonna have to download and install Data Smith Exporter for Unreal Engine from Unreal Engine website. And it's free. Okay, just search Data Smith Exporter and select the first one here. It opens Unreal Engine website. Okay, when this page opens, scroll down and you can download it for any of these programs here. But I'm downloading it for 3ds Max. Okay so just press download and it will download next you have to close 3ds max then install the plugin it's as easy as that the next time you open 3ds max you have the option to export as data as my file i'm just gonna hide my room and let's unhide all my objects okay now let's select all of them by double clicking on the name of the layer then go to file export export selected choose where you want to export okay choose the unreal data smith format and give it a name and press save when this window opens just click ok if you have an animated object in your scene you can select the active time segment so the animation will be exported to but uh, we don't have that so the default settings is just fine now it's gonna take some time to export the files it took a few minutes but the export is finished now let's close this warning dialog and let's minimize 3ds max and let's open unreal engine and create a new project ok i'm going to go in the games tab and select the blank template and from here i'm going to select blueprint desktop maximum and select ray tracing and it's okay if your graphic card doesn't support ray tracing the method we're going to work in this project doesn't need ray tracing and from here we're going to select the project location and give it a name now i've already created the project so i'm just going to open that but uh, after selecting create your project will be created too Okay, now that my project is open, let's go over importing our files into Unreal Engine. Let's first import the FBX files. So, navigate to the folder you want your meshes to be imported in. 
You have several options to import the files you want in the content browser. You can right click and select import or you can select the import at the top left of the content browser or you can drag and drop the files into the content browser. I'm going to select import and go to exports and select all of them and select open. There are a few options you need to change and then importing FBX files into Unreal Engine. The first one you have to deselect generate missing collision. It's enabled by default but go ahead and disable it. After that you're going to need to disable generate light map UVs. For this project we don't need light map UVs. And in the material tab select do not create material and deselect import textures and select import all and select all of them and press ctrl s to save them in order to import data smith files into unreal engine you first need to enable the plugin so go to settings plugins and search for data smith and enable data smith importer uh, I've already enabled it, but uh, after you enable it, you're going to need to restart your project. After your project is restarted, go to the quickly add to the project and data smith and select file import. Then navigate to where you, you've exported your data smith file and select it. Then select where you want it to be imported. and press ok. Now the data smith import option window will open. You can select all the options you want for your import. For example, you can select whether you want to import geometry, materials and textures, lights, cameras, animations and so on. And whether you want to you want data smith to create light map UVs for your meshes. In my case, I want the geometry and materials and textures to be imported, so I'm going to enable them and disable all the other options and press import. So after the import is finished, uh, your data smith files will be added to the level. But as we don't want to work in this level I'm just going to delete all of them and that's how you import your data smith files into Unreal Engine now let's save our files and move to the next step so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful and if it was make sure to like and subscribe down below I'm Hodge and I create Alphys projects with Unreal Engine. Thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.